Hello and welcome to the 56 tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at dismissible alerts. We'll be using the source code from the 55th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. In that part we set up an alert. At the moment the alerts are fixed and cannot be removed. But Bootstrap allows us to create a dismissible alert. Basically what it is, it just has a little X and if you click it, it remove this it's literally that simple so like everything else bootstrap makes it really simple so if we just open up our index file I'm only going to add it to one of the alerts but as an extra task you can add it to the other alerts as well so if you just go to any alert I'm just going to add it to the success one and you just want to add an extra class so it's alert dismissible that looks all correct. This is all built in, so we're not going to have to do anything. For this itself, we are actually done. And now what we do, let's actually put this on a separate line, because we need to put some code within here now. And what we're going to simply put inside is, well, our button to close it. To do that, you just do button type equals button class equals close. Then we got data dash dismiss equals alert and then inside the button itself we add a span and we have a area dash hidden equals true and in here we just do Ampersand times semicolon. Don't worry, none of this will appear. Uh, a lot of this stuff, like what we're going to do now, is just for screen readers. And it's lucky we can just add it simply using Bootstrap. We don't have to do anything special with it. Let's put the word close. Again, this is just for screen readers. This won't appear. So if we just refresh, or not, not refresh, actually open up our web page in a web browser. Scroll down, as you can see, we've got our four alerts, but the top alert has an X, which, well, it should do. Let's just zoom in so you can see it. So it's got an alert, I mean, a close button compared to the others. And then if I click on it, it disappears. Whereas the others, if I do something, it, it doesn't do anything because that's just a regular alert. It's that simple. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at links in alerts. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one, actually over 800 completely free videos, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.